I want to encourage somebody that this life is so short. I have had multiple friends who have not made it as long on their journey as they thought they were going to make it. And I want to encourage some people to act now. I want to encourage you to devote yourself to fulfilling the call of God on your life, to devoting yourself to Jesus and fulfilling the call of God on your life because there is a certain message that God wants to release through you. There is an aspect of God that you carry that nobody else carries that God wants to release through your life. And it's very easy to think that we have a lot of time. But I'm telling you right now, use your time wisely. I feel like there's someone that I'm talking to that you have been stagnant in the things that God's called you to because you have had a lot of closed doors. But I want you to understand something, that God is protecting you anytime that a door doesn't open. And that though you may not see it now, one day when you receive what He does have for you, you will understand why. I want you to know that God's heart towards you is so pure and it is the greatest love you have ever felt. And if you feel far from God in your season, please be encouraged that all you have to do is draw near to God and He promises that He will, He will draw near to you. God will draw near to you in your brokenness. You might have had many people leave you, give up on you, count you out, discredit you. God doesn't do that. All you have to do is look at the cross John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever would believe in Him would not perish but would have eternal life. Do you know that it says that Jesus was unrecognizable as a man because of what He went through? The way that He was beaten and bruised on our behalf, on your behalf, because God loves you. He wanted you to have a hope and a future, Jeremiah 29.11. He wanted you to have life and life abundant. So anything that God asks you to do, He's preparing you for beauty. He is leading you to life. He says, I've set before you a path, life and death. Choose life. So when God asks you to follow Him into something, you can trust Him. He's trying to lead you to life. He's trying to lead you to His best. He's trying to lead you to breakthrough. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to thrive. Jesus came that we would have life and life abundant. That's who God is and that's what He has for you. He's been so misrepresented in this past season. But please hear me, that He is still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And He's a really good God.